Okay, so now we're on chapter two, lesson 2.2, which is percent and estimation. So what we're doing here is basically the same thing as last lesson 2.1, which was find the percent of a number. But in this case, they want us to estimate, okay? Because when you use percent, you always don't have to have an exact answer. You can always approximate to something. So in this example, which is estimate 42% of 120, we're going to take this and say, okay, well, you know what? 42%, I think we can round that off to 40%. Okay, so instead of 42%, we'll use 40%. So now it's estimate 40% of 120. So we can do this two ways, right? We take the percent, and we can either change it to a fraction or a decimal. I'll do both, okay? So first, we'll do the fraction. So 40 over 100, right? This percent is always over 100. Then you multiply it by 120. This says of 120. Okay, so 40 over 100 times 120. Now before you can you multiply, you can also simplify. So if we want to do that instead, 40 over 100, right? First thing that we can do, we see that they both, both numbers have two zeros at the end, right? Have a zero at the end, I'm sorry. So we can cross that out. So now we're left with 4 over 10. Okay, now we can simplify more, all right? We can simplify by 2. So 4 divided by 2 is 2, and 10 divided by 2 is 5, okay? Now we're going to multiply that by 120. Now, even if you did 40 over 100 times 120 over 1, you would still get the same answer. Except in this case, we simplified it, so it just makes the multiplication a little easier. All right, so now we have 2 times 120, which is 240 over 5 times 1, which is 5. And 240 divided by 5, okay, comes out to be 48. Now we're going to do the same thing with a decimal. Okay, now, actually, again, when it says estimate 42% of 120, okay, your answer is going to be it's approximately 48. Right, so we're estimating. So we're doing the same problem. Now we're just using decimal form. So instead of putting 40% as 40 over 100, we're going to use the decimal form. And how we do that, right, is we take the decimal, and now since there's no decimal visible, we know that there's an invisible decimal right here. You move it two times to the left, okay, so then you get 0 0.40, or just 0 0.4, okay? So we're going to take that, 0 0.4, and then we're still going to multiply it by 120. And when you multiply 0 0.4 times 120, you get 48 again, okay? So again, you can use a fraction form or a decimal form, you'll get the same answer. So your answer, again, is going to be approximately 48. So this next one, number two, is estimate one-half percent of 82. Now this one's a little different, okay, because instead of rounding off the percent, we're just going to round off the whole number. So instead of using 82, I think we should use 80. Okay, now one-half percent, we should write that in a different form, okay? Let's write it in decimal form, 0.5%. Okay, now this is called decimal percent, okay? But again, remember, this is 5, point, sorry, 0.5% means out of 100, okay? But in order to multiply, we don't want it out of 100. So we need to change that into a fraction or a decimal. Now in this case, since it's already a decimal, we can just change it into a non-decimal percent, okay, by moving the decimal point two spaces to the left. So let's do that, one, two, zero goes in the loop, okay, so now we have 0 0.005, okay, of 80. So all that we do is we multiply. We're going to be multiplying 0 0.005 times 80. And when you multiply that out, you get your answer of approximately 0 0.4. Okay, last example. Example 3. Estimate 132% of 54. Okay, now remember, at any time, if you want to pause this video and do it on your own, 
okay? And then press play and watch me do it and see if we get the same answer. You're more than welcome to do that, and I recommend it. Um, so in this case, we're actually going to be estimating or approximating both numbers. So 132%, okay? We can actually change to 130%. And 54. Now, you can change it to 50 or to 55. Okay, I'd rather do 50, but like I said, if your answer is in the same range as mine, okay, it's going to be correct. Alright, so we're going to use 130% and 50. So, I'm going to put this into a decimal form. Okay, so, invisible decimals here. I move it over twice to the left. So now I have 1.30 or just 1.3. Okay, times... 50. When you multiply out 1.3 times 50, you get approximately 65. Okay, so your answer is 132% of 54 is approximately 65.